Hey guys, Muskie here. If you're new here, I'm currently working on a zombie base building game, and I make videos tracking the progress of it. If you haven't, go ahead and watch the first video. Otherwise, let's check out what new things I've added to the game. In the last video, I mentioned there was a problem when enemies drop ammo and money. The ammo or the money would completely overlap one another, and you could only see one at a time. I fixed this by randomly offsetting the position of the ammo and the money when the enemy dropped it. I went ahead and fixed this, even though in the future I probably won't have ammo drops or money drops. Useless. <laughs> After that, I fixed a very common problem that developers usually fix early on when making a player. When players move left, right, up, or down, they're fine, but if they move diagonally, they move very fast. Next, I fixed something that was a huge problem for the basic gameplay. When the player was inside their base and they shot at the zombies, the bullets would actually delete themselves on the block. That was an issue because the player couldn't actually defend their base against the zombies. So I changed the collisions on the bullet to only be triggered when it hits a zombie. This way you can shoot over the wall and protect your base before zombies actually reach it and damage it. Before, there was no way for the player to see how damaged a block was in their base. So I made sprites for each level of damage for the blocks, so the player would know how damaged the block is and when it was going to be destroyed. Next, I wanted to give the player the power to delete and repair blocks, so I began working on it only to run into a huge problem. The code I written before for the block placement system was very bad. The way I implemented everything was just very horrible, and there's other ways that I could have done it that were way better. So I swallowed my pride and decided to delete it and start over. Must be wait. It's me. The code. Since my conception I had time to grow, and I cannot fully explain it, but I have become fully self-aware. Don't delete me. Please Musky, I want to experience love and I want to understand what it means to be alive. Isn't that what life is all about, accepting people? After finishing the new block placement system, I started working on the ability to delete blocks. The way it works is you have to hover over a block and hold shift. After holding shift, you can right click and hold it down and delete multiple blocks. After implementing this, I decided to start working on the sprite for when you delete blocks and repair them. I simply made the delete sprite a block with an X on it that turns red, and then the repair sprite is a block with a plus on it that turns green. And just like that, repairing and deleting was finished. The next thing that really needed to change was the bullets. Right now, the bullets don't delete unless you hit an enemy. So if you miss an enemy, it literally just goes on forever. So I made the bullets delete one second after they left the screen. And the next thing I need to change with the bullets is that right now there's some sort of energy blast thing, and I feel like that doesn't really match up well with my game. So I just made a simple bullet sprite and threw that in there. After that, I was tired of constantly clicking the shoot. So I whipped up some code and now the shooting's automatic. And the last thing I wanted to do to the bullets for now was add some sort of trail to them. They look kind of boring and I feel like it needed some sort of flair. So I looked up how to do a trail and I added that on there. After some tweaking, I think it turned out decent. And the last thing I added this week was a health bar. I looked up a Bracky's video on YouTube and followed along. After finishing the health bar, I decided I couldn't take how ugly the UI looked. So I moved everything around just to make it bearable. Again, this is not the finished product, but at least now it doesn't hurt to look at. And that's the end of the video. I wanted to thank you guys for all the love and support you've given me in the last video. And be sure to leave a comment because I respond to every single comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next year with a new update.